Breaking news out of Paris and what at least at this moment looks to be a city under terror attack on several fronts. To terrorize innocent civilians. This is an attack not just on Paris. It's an attack not just on the people of France, uh, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. Horrific mass shooting here, at least 18 dead and at least 13 injured, several of them critically. During a fight scene in The Dark Knight Rises, Batman exhorts Catwoman to put away her weapon. No killing, he says. No guns. Sadly, in the Century 16 theater last night, life did not imitate that bit of art, and a midnight premiere of that film became a killing ground. Tonight, families are reeling, a young man is in custody, and police are trying to figure out how to disarm the suspect's apartment loaded with explosive booby traps. Imagine this, you are at an event, school, or work. You hear pops and loud bangs. You then see people running down the hall and down the streets in pure terror. You are with your friends or family, and maybe even your kids. We think that we know what would happen if that situation happens. We think that we know what we would do if that situation happens. But when it happens, do we act on those intuitions we had before the attack? You grab the hands of your loved ones and try to escape, or even vice versa. You pray to yourself you don't see anyone get hurt watching the unfortunate ending to someone's circle of life. Dick Fuentes, lead singer of the San Diego native band Pierce the Veil, thought of this scenario due to the 2015 November Paris attack, saying, I wrote the song as if I was at the show with my girlfriend or my best friend and shit went down. What would be going on in our minds? Now, here I should explain a little bit of what the 2015 Paris attacks were. The attacks were a terrorist attack from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, on France's major cities of Paris and Saint-Denis. The attack, according to ISIL, was in retaliation against airstrikes on Islamic State's target. There were nine attackers, seven of which died in the attacks, with six dying from self-detonation. There were three groups that began the attack on Friday, November 13th, from 9.16 p.m. to 12.58 a.m. on Saturday, the 14th of November, 2015. The attack claimed 130 civilian lives and injured 400 plus. Now, Vic Fuentes saw the attacks and was hit with heavy emotions as he had played one of the venues that was attacked, the Bataclan, with another band, Bring Me the Horizon, two years prior. As he said, that could have been any one of our bands, any of our friends, or any one of us. The whole situation just hit me right at home. The song in question is my personal favorite, Circles. The song takes the perspective of two friends at a concert trying to save each other and escape the attack that is unfortunately unfolding with their lives. The hardest hitting lines in this song come from the second verse, which says, Creeping through these labyrinths, I find another dead end to the weekend. But is this real life? Paper hearts turn to ash to fly over our heads. I begin screaming while the exit signs read, Heaven's waiting. Circles tackles the topic with tremendous intensity, especially as attacks, not only in situations like Paris, have become all too common. The leading force of the chorus says, Nowhere to go, and so we both spin around in circles. Sometimes there's never an exit, and you have to turn back to the threat. But that isn't the only thing that's being said here. As to me, it also talks about the circle of life, where we are born, live our life, then die. And unfortunately, sometimes it ends all too soon. Why did I add the clip of a more recent massacre at the beginning of the video? Well, it's because ultimately, this song impacts every single survivor of any attack, massacre, shooting, and victim of war. As Circles came out in 2016, in the album Misadventures, Pierce the Veil hadn't released another album until 2023 with The Jaws of Life. Now, before we get further on, you're probably wondering, why are you talking about another album when this video is about the interpretation of terror in a song? Well, that is because with terror comes trauma. In the album The Jaws of Life, it talks a lot about life experiences and situations. But one song stood out as a continuation of 2016's Circles, which was shared trauma. 
Shared trauma talks about a couple who went through a traumatic situation together and use each other or drugs to cope. The opening lines say, am I still your excuse to get high? Flatline coma induced in record time. And later on, Vic sings, I'm afraid that all my veins and never-ending tragedies will bleed my heart empty and scare your love away. Fearing trauma can only cause hurtful ways to cope, such as drugs and alcoholism and much more. But here, Vic himself is saying he is afraid that all these traumatic events he has gone through, even with his significant other, emotionally drains him at times and doesn't want his love to leave due to feeling like he doesn't love them. These two songs are the most powerful songs Pierce the Veil has in their discography, in my opinion. They truly have a beautiful way of telling the story, perfect instrumentals, and impactful themes of being caught in terror and trauma. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and goodbye.